Hey guys, welcome to my channel and in today's video we're going to be doing a quick review for Fenty Beauty and their Christmas collection. Well, in particular actually one product. So not the Christmas collection, it's actually their Bomb Posse eyeshadow palette. Now if you watch my ABH like videos right before this, you would know that I actually have one more due and I actually have that filmed already but I just... <sighs> Life has been in the way and if it's not life, I just get really tired and that means I'm just really lazy and on that point, it means that I have yet to finish editing that video so because of that, uh, it's not up yet but at the same time, this is kind of like a time sensitive thing because it is limited edition and it's a Christmas thing and Christmas is kind of coming up and I know that some of you will probably want to buy this as a gift well, you can so this is more important right now so stay tuned for that ABH concealer video because it's actually really good not the video but like the product or well, maybe the video as well but it's not edited yet so we don't know if it's good but anyway i'm rambling too much because like i said today we're going to be talking about the fenty beauty bomb posse eyeshadow palette i have it right here like look at it <laughs> it's really neutral <laughs> It's kind of up my alley because there are like these pinky tones in there and there's a lot of neutral tones and I thought we'd do something a little bit different today. Instead of how I regularly sit down here and talk about everything, I thought I would actually apply uh, the shadows so that you can actually see as we go along and at the same time I'll talk about bits and pieces and of course give you some of my thoughts about the shadows. I have used this palette a couple of times and um, just a disclaimer, this is not mine. I actually borrowed it from a friend just to do this video. So a uh, shout out to my friend who didn't want to be mentioned but thanks. So right off the bat, this is part of Fenty Beauty's Christmas collection this year and this is a beautiful 12 pan eyeshadow palette. Uh, it contains a lot of like pinky and neutral tones as you can see. Um, and as usual, what I like is that they always have the shades labeled at the back so that I can actually, you know, talk to you guys about what shades I'm using in particular. So I actually use the ABH concealer as um, eyeshadow primer and I've already set my eyelids and everything. So I think I'm going to start off with this mauve shade over here as my transition shade. And this is the shade Rock and Rose. That's a pretty name. So let me like lean for it to see if you guys can like see closer. No, no, I look naked. No, 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 let's not do that. Okay. So this palette is priced at 223 ringgit. I'm talking so slow. It feels a little weird doing it while <laughs> well, doing my makeup. Oh my god, I can't multitask. Okay, so this palette is priced at 223 ringgit, which I think is okay, considering there are a lot of palettes in Malaysia that are priced pretty more expensive. Um, but the one that I'm talking about here that's really popular would be Urban Decay. Like everybody somehow always loves the Urban Decay palettes. They're like OG for the neutrally palettes. And everybody here always seems to have an Urban Decay palette. And actually, their palettes now are pretty pricey. They're priced over like 200 bucks. I believe they're like 250 right now. Um, I should have looked more into it. Um, but yeah, so I feel like for the price and everything, I feel like it's not too bad. However, I feel like if you're comparing to their regular like snap shadows, this is pretty steep. So the regular snap shadows is going for 122 per palette and that's like a six pan palette. However, in Malaysia, if you buy two together, you can get it at 198. So I always say like, if you want to get um, the snap shadows, you should just get it in a pair or get it with a friend um, because you just have more colors to work with. It's very ergonomical in terms of like their packaging for travel and moving around. So I always feel like if you're going to do it, just buy two. And honestly, two means you get 12 shadows, right? Which is essentially how many shadows you get here. So in comparison, like 223 bucks in comparison to 198, that's pretty steep, isn't it? Like that's almost a 30 buck difference. 
And 30 bucks in Malaysia, like you could get a meal. You could feed yourself for a whole day. That's a lot. You could you could pay for a lot of things. Heck, for some people, 30 bucks is like your whole water bill. So that is rock and rose on my eyelids. Can you guys even see it? I don't know. It's like really obvious here in the mirror. Um, but it does take some time to um, build up. Here's one thing about the formulas for Fenty Beauty, like the eyeshadows. And I'm talking about anything that comes with like the white packaging palette. So basically snap shadows and this, well, basically snap shadows. Um, I've realized that it takes a long time to actually build up because they're not like the super pigmented kind of shadows. And I feel like this is... Um, playing true to that as well. Okay, I'm gonna go into this shade right here. And this is called Big Burns. See, when you tap, can you see like it's not a lot of shadow and it's quite, I feel like it's just very pressed. Like it's very, very compact. And that is true to all of the snap shadows. I'm just gonna build under the transition shade a little bit with this color. So I'm just working it into the crease a little bit more just to deepen out the shade. I mean the crease. Like you just need a bit more time to build it up. But I feel like depending on the shadows that you get, um, and it really varies between the palettes. I'm not gonna lie, like some palettes are actually better than others. So you just gotta look through and sift through like reviews and look for people that will give you the lowdown, you know? Like me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I'm not really kidding either. <laughs> Please. There you are. This is a really pretty shade and this has been building up like really nicely actually. I mean, I already know this, but I'm just telling you guys. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with the deepest shade in the palette. This is also a matte and it is called Get That Bread. Get that dough, get that bread. Actually, it's get that bread, not get the dough, but I'm gonna get the dough. So I'm just gonna put this on the outer corner. And I'm just gonna drag it into like the lash line a little bit, just to like smoke it out and just wing it out a little bit. I don't know why, I've been doing this a lot recently with my makeup. Like I'll just wing it out a little bit more and then define like the crease and kind of like just do the outer V of my eye. I don't know why, but it's just been very appealing to me recently. I will say though, because I have tried last year's palette, right off the bat, I so prefer this year's palette. So this is why, because last year's palette actually came with the mini mascara. And I will be honest, I barely use the mascara. There's just something about it that doesn't sit well with me because I have very short and straight lashes. And the wand just doesn't help me coat my lashes properly. And at the same time, for some reason, even though I've curled my lashes, it just doesn't help it stay curled. Like it would just slowly go straight again. So I'm not a really big fan on the mascara. And... It also came with the palette and I use certain shades in the palette, but like I said in my old video, I just feel like it's not one of those palettes that you want to bring it to everywhere. It's just like pops of color. So it's kind of like, I will need to use other palettes to kind of complement it because I remember the mattes were okay, but you couldn't really do a lot with it. At least with this, you could actually have a really good variety. See how I had to talk without doing my makeup? Yep. Yeah, multitask. So I really, really think this light pink is super pretty and I also want to use this deeper pink. So I think I'm going to use both. So the lighter one in the inner corner and then the other deeper pink, I'm going to use like all over the lid a little bit more. And the deeper one is called... The deeper one is called Fussy, but the printing's really small. So I'll let you guess what I was gonna say. Fussy. I'm just gonna place it here. 
I've actually not tried the pinks yet, which is why I want to try them. I've been using a lot more of like the bronzier shades. Mm. Okay, and now the lighter one, which is called Ballerina. Oh my god, I love the name. There's something about Fancy Beauty where like the names are so creative sometimes, like it's so fun. It reminds me a bit of Colourpop, but Colourpop's one is like a little bit more random. Mm. There we are. There we go. Okay. I'm taking my brush again uh, into the deepest shade, uh, Make That Bread, and I'm just gonna smoke up my lower lash line. I don't think I need to talk about much about the palette, like, there is no smell. <laughs> just to be sure, yeah, no smell. All right. Okay, so I'm done with my eye look. Uh, I did not put on lashes or any mascara so that you guys can see. It's just liquid eyeliner. But I think I used like a good one, two, three, four, five shades from the palette just for you guys to see. And I think so far so good. Um, I do have my thoughts, but I realized that I failed to mention something to you guys, which is the packaging. So one thing that I really love about Fenty Beauty is that they really think about ergonomics so far. And I feel like they're really top notch when it comes to ergonomics. Like they really like go beyond. And I think this is so smart. When I first saw this packaging, I was like, ooh, because it came with like, there's another palette that's long that's all like their highlighters, right? And it's the same size, but I was like, if I don't want that, then would I be able to connect my existing snap shadows? And to my surprise, you can. I have number three and I'm just gonna place it right here. Snap it into place. Number four. Look, you have a full palette. You dropped it there with 24 shades. And I think that's pretty awesome, especially if you're someone who likes to travel a lot. Um, but I will say one thing that I wish they worked on though was how heavy this is. Like with 24 shades here, this is a hefty palette. Like it weighs quite a bit. One thing about the palette that I feel is great and not great is really in between is the fact that it's all neutrals. I almost wish like they had pops of colors. After using generally like all of the shades, I feel like there are some shades that they could have omitted. Like for example, there's this nude shade that's probably um, their bone color in here to set and highlight uh, all over your lid. And I feel like this shade, even though it's slightly deeper, it's kind of unnecessary. I don't see myself using it and I feel like they could have replaced it with pops of color. And um, even these two shades, like the transitional shades, are very similar. Like they're not too far off and I feel like they could have actually used pops of colors to make it a bit more of a cohesive palette and something a bit more interesting. So even if they wanted to do Christmas, like this is all pink and brown neutral tones, which I love, but I feel like they could have experimented a bit more. Like you don't need two pinky shimmer shades. You could have done something like last year, like a red or a nice green or even like blue. Um, just another pop of color. I feel like there's too many pinks, too many browns, too many golds. Like it's... It's too much, it's not necessary. So some of the matte shadows are actually very smooth. Like it's very easy to blend, but the thing about their mattes is that it's good and bad because if you're looking for something that's very, very pigmented, you're not gonna get it with this. It takes like a slow build. And I don't mind that because as someone who is a bit more new or you know, you're not very into makeup, I feel like you would need that because Contrary to popular belief, not everything has to be super pigmented because sometimes it's all about how you control your makeup as well. And sometimes I have my off days and this helps me a lot compared to like super pigmented eyeshadows. But I will say there is some patchiness in here. Um, in general, I would say the deeper shades 
from the palettes are always usually more patchy. So just now, when I went off camera, I realized like out from this light, in natural light, it was patchy as hell. So I had to actually like fix it. And even fixing it was kind of difficult because it was just so patchy. Um, but it took some time, but I made it work, but it just took some time. And that's one thing that I don't like about the Fenty Snap Shadow formulas, especially for deeper shades. I think my number nine shade, um, it's this really pretty purple shade. And I love the shade so much. Like this is why I love this palette, but it's actually really hard to work with because of the patchiness. Um, another one would be the shimmer shades. Oh my god, like their shimmer shades, if it's gorgeous, it is super duper gorgeous. Like it's buttery smooth, it's shimmery, amazing, like it's great. Um, the ones that I would say in this palette that are really good would be like this bronzy coppery shade and the gold. Find it to be a bit more apparent throughout all brands that their golds and their bronze and their coppers are normally the most smooth. Um, however, like today I used the pinks and I was a little bit disappointed because it feels more glitter than smoothness. And it's more of like that pink glitter instead of like pigment. You get what I mean? Like. I don't just want glitter on my lids, I want a bit more pigment. And even then, I feel like the tone on my eye compared to in the palette just doesn't match up. Like on my eyes right now, it's actually a little bit more purpley pink than actual like pink and champagne. So um, I feel like that's something that they do need to work on because experiencing it from other palettes, I feel like that's something as well. However, I will say this is not too bad of a palette. I saw it's a very controversial palette, okay? There are a lot of haters, there are a lot of lovers. At least I feel like I'm one of the rare ones who was kind of like in between. I feel like it's not a great palette where I'm like, wow, this is amazing. But it's not like a, oh my God, this is like pure I'm gonna chuck it in the bin. Like I'm in the middle. So I feel like, do you need it though? I, I personally don't because this is just too neutrally to me. Like it's a very cool tone, neutral palette. And I have a lot of these shades already. So I feel like if you don't, maybe you could go for this. However, I feel like there are just so many palettes with the same color tone that perform a lot better. And because of that, I feel like I wouldn't tell people to go and run out and get this. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you love this. <laughs> However, I will say if you want to actually get um, Fenty Snap Shadows, this is what I would recommend. This is the number three and this is the number four palette. And these are the two palettes that I actually gravitate towards the most because of the neutral tones and how flexible the colors are. And I actually interuse like these two the most together. So these two are frequently snapped together actually. So this is the number three palette. This is a bit more of like a warm tone palette, um, a lot of orangey tones. There's a good neutral uh, transitional shade. There's like two deeper shades, the orange shades, give it that pop of color and the two copper and brown shimmer shades that I really, really like. And most of the time I would use this to do my eyes. However, I will also reach into the number four palette. This is that rosy pink, um, really like more towards the warm side actually. So as you can see, there's like really pretty like pink tones, that, that bright pink pop of color that I love. And I feel like the pigmentation for these two palettes are really great, the consistency. And I don't have problems with these two compared to like the other palettes that I have. Um, and yeah, I just feel like if you are looking to get this palette, I might just give it a skip and reach for these two. And it's cheaper. I mean, if you buy these two together, it's like 198 bucks in ringgit at least. It's cheaper. It's just, it's just cheaper and it makes more sense. You get the same thing. You get two mirrors. But hey, if you love it, if you're recommending it, and if you really want to give it a shot, I ain't stopping you. Try it. It's not too bad. I'm just saying, 
it could be better. All right, guys, so that was my review for the Fenty Beauty Bomb Posse eyeshadow palette. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful and helpful. Um, and of course, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more. I see there's, not, there's more of you guys coming in and it makes me really happy to, you know, bond with you guys. Some of you guys actually DM me and we have great conversations. Yeah, I'm rambling a bit too much now, but I'll see you guys in the next one.